The eyes of defense enthusiasts are all set on LCTS Mark 1A as an improved version of LCA is soon to take its first flight. While there has been delay in the first flight by few days, HL is working on war foot to get various components of the aircraft certified which involves various agencies of DIDO, HL and foreign agencies. Amid all these, the picture of LCTS Mark 1A has been released on social media platform. The first LCDS Mark 1A production variant bears the tail number LA5033. On 27th March 2024, the aircraft underwent low speed taxi trial followed by high speed taxi trial. The first flight of the aircraft can be expected in next few days. The deadline for HL to deliver the first LCDS Mark 1A is 31st March 2024. However, it's not the matter of much concern. HL has to deliver three LCTs Mark 1A from a contract of 87 LCTs, which can be done quite easily. And this can be understood from the aircrafts under the manufacturing pipeline of HL. The first LCA trainer, which is LT5201, has already been handed over to Indian Air Force on 4th October 2023. HL has already built the LC aircrafts with tail number LT5202, LT5203, 5204, and 5205, and the preparations are underway to deliver these aircraft to Indian Air Force. From the LCA test Mark 1 images, which is shared on social media platform, we can see some noticeable difference in the aircraft when compared to LCA test Mark 1. The first visible difference can be seen in the canopy of the aircraft. The LCTS Mark 1A canopy seems to be more rounded. Second, the forward-looking radar warning receiver is not present in the vertical fin stabilizer as it can be seen in LCTS Mark 1. Instead, the radar warning receiver has been moved at the wing tips. We could also see two antennas at the top part of aircraft's fuselage very close to the vertical fin stabilizer, which is most likely for the software defined radios. Immediately after the Balakot strike, the Indian Air Force had decided to buy software defined radios and integrate them with entire fighter aircraft fleets. This emergency purchase of 400 BNET STRs from Israel was meant for Mirage 2000, MiG 29, and Su 30 MKI fighter aircrafts of Indian Air Force and will also for LCATS Mark 1A for secure network centric operation. The BNET software defined radios will ensure secure communication not just between fighters in the air but also between fighters in the air and the ground installations and most important between the fighters in the air and AWACS. The another noticeable feature is the placement of VHF UHF antenna. In LCTS Mark 1, this was placed after the landing gear at the bottom of fuselage. In Mark 1A, the VHF UHF antenna has been moved forward before the landing gear. The LCTS Mark 1A will be an upgraded version of the final operational clearance or FOC configuration Mark 1 with 80% of detail components being the same. The Mark 1A will have 43 improvements over Mark 1 version. At present, the aircraft is equipped with 344 systems out of which 210 are indigenous and 134 are imported. However, in Mark 1A, the imported systems will be reduced to just about 80. Many LRUs, that is line replaceable units, will be repositioned and new LRUs are to be included to keeping in mind the maintainability. This includes the reduction of screws in the several airframe panels that requires daily servicing to reduce the turnaround time of the aircraft. The Indian Air Force wants airframe panels that can be replaced without taking too much time and these will be supplied to Indian Air Force with quick release fasteners. The TS Mark 1A will also have more indigenous component than Mark 1. The Mark 1A has 58% level of indigenization which has been now increased to 65% in Mark 1A. 
the shortcomings such as the increased weight and reduced speed would also be addressed in upcoming this mark 1a aircraft by increasing the use of composites in manufacturing and reducing the supersonic drag by using more aerodynamic pylons the upgraded Mark 1A aircraft will retain the Mark 1 airframe while featuring an ASA based radar, DARE's unified electronic warfare suite, an externally mounted self protection jammer for enhanced survivability, instrument flight rules IFR capability, onboard oxygen generation system by DBL for endurance, and an expanded weapon suite consisting of Astra Beyond Visual Range Missile and SRAM within visual range missile. HL will also install its in-house developed combined integrator and transponder that is CIT with digital map generator which is an upgrade from the older identification friend or foe system. To better accommodate the pilots, the cockpit floor is also reshaped. Now considering the futuristic air combat, the Mark 1A will have capabilities to communicate across various assets of military on land and on air through BNET software defined radios. This software defined radios will provide LCA with data coming through various channels which could be fused together to give pilot all information he or she needs to optimally perform the mission. Usually these channels can either be a UAV or a VOX platform in the air but it can also be other fighter jets. This will be a powerful leap in terms of technology. The another major improvement will be the incorporation of multi-channel digital receiver based RWR that is radar warning receiver which will be able to instantaneously track and identify the target aircrafts and RF homing missiles. It will alert the pilot if a RF homing missile is approaching or if an aircraft is under radar lock by the enemy. The RWR is integrated with radar and the jammer. If an electromagnetic wave hits the aircraft, the RWR will give a warning to the pilot and the self-protection jammer will automatically get activated and will try to jam the enemy's radar or the source from where the electromagnetic wave is coming. Talking about the helmet mounted display system in MK1, it will be fully operational in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground mode. The HMTS eliminates the use and the new need of HUD that is heads-up display. The lc Mark 1A will also be integrated with improved radio altimeter sensor and night flying system. The TS Mark 1A will feature the revamped Digital Flight Control Computer or DFCC, while the flight computer of lc Mark 1 is based on 386 series processor, the new DFCC will feature power PC based computing architecture which is going to drastically improve the computing power of the platform. The DFCC can be considered as the fighter aircraft's brain. ADA has designed this and it has been even qualified for LCA this Mark II. The new Mark 1A DFCC will have significantly higher processing power which will allow ADA to add many more advanced capabilities in the flight control system. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.